Wall Street is getting bullish on media stocks. City raising its price target on Netflix and Barclays upgrading Disney to overweight. Here with the details, Yahoo Finance's senior reporter, Alexandra Canal. Ali, let's start with Disney and what we're learning there from Barclays. Yeah, well, Disney has been in the news a lot lately due to this proxy battle with Nelson Peltz. That's all going to come to a head next week at the shareholder meeting, April 3rd. But Barclays seeing more room to run here, upgrading shares to overweight from equal weight and also raising the price target by 40 to 135 bucks a share. Currently, shares are trading around 120, so that implies roughly 15% upside, which is pretty significant considering how much this stock has outperformed over the past year. Uh, but the bull case here is that streaming may end up being positive a few quarters earlier than expected. Bob Iger has consistently reiterated that by the end of fiscal 2024, streaming is finally going to be profitable. We also have a few other tailwinds, such as the strike ending, uh, the Hulu consumption, consolidation, continued cost cuts. And the analyst here sees that that's going to be more impactful down the line as really Disney commits to this turnaround plan. Now, part of the turnaround plan has been pressured by activist investors. And Nelson Peltz, he's been one of the most vocal. And according to CNBC, he withheld his vote from Disney CEO Bob Iger in that proxy fight, saying he basically implying he does not want him to rejoin the company's board. We'll see. Again, that all comes to ahead on April 3rd. He is fighting for a seat at the board along with former Disney CFO Jay Rossulo. But but right now, guys, it seems like Disney is in a strong position considering where the stock is trading, considering the positive results we got in their latest earnings report. So we'll see what shareholders want at the end of the day come next week. Netflix also uh, this morning moving lower by about three tenths of a percent. That also part of this call that's out there too. What yeah, so City has a call. They're raising their estimates to reflect stronger subscriber growth and raising its price target from 555 bucks a share to $660 a share. It's going to maintain its neutral rating. Now, Netflix has been really trying to move away from subscriber ads, and they've sort of been putting the emphasis more on the ad-supported tier along with the password sharing crackdown. So, so they see that as the key drivers moving ahead here. And, and City really sees more room to run on the subscriber front. And if you think of the recent programming that Netflix has put out there, it's been very successful, especially when we think about international, too. I mean, for full year 2024, they're actually going to invest more internationally. They're really emphasizing localized content than domestically. And that's having a boon, really, when you think about overseas growth and the potential to reach subscribers that are maybe in markets not as mature as the North American market. So a lot of these streaming companies, these media companies, they are putting out their next phases of growth. Right. And it seems like analysts are pretty bullish that as we see that play out, it's going to have a significant impact on the stock price and the bottom lines of these companies.